Idongo. I watched the film Idongo. My opinion. This film is a very, 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 very annoying film. And the characters in this film are also annoying. There is an award that God is going to give to some mothers in the day of judgment and that award is the award of turning the hearts of the children against their father seriously children in trying times of your loved ones let them know that what they have done is wrong but you must support them and defend them if you don't who will question of what blessing are you to your dad when you cannot stand by him in the day of his accusation but if to say he was receiving an award or giving a special recognition you will wear pretty dress and be shining your teeth at the event right uh -huh. the church is cool and lack compassion this pastor came by himself to make confession you pursued him out of the church what is the purpose of the church would jesus has done to this pastor what the church did to him if i was this pastor i would go ahead marry sister jumoke move on with my life and change location a Yoruba film staring me wa Ademola Roke Obusanya, aka Dudu Yemi, Tony Alausa, and many other great actors. In the film, Pastor Gideon is a good and truthful pastor who counsels and fed the pain of a 40 years old single lady by the name Jumake, but by mistake got involved with her sexually. When he tried to counsel her after she experienced another heartbreak, Sister Jumake fell in love with Pastor Gideon and started chasing him. But Pastor Gideon refused that what happened between them was a mistake and that he has prayed and fasted for days for God to forgive him and he does not want to repeat the same mistake. So Pastor Gideon kept avoiding Sister Jumake. To cut the story short, Pastor Gideon shouted Jesus when he kept his phone at the When Pastor Gideon shouted Jesus, I thought Sister Jumoke sent a naked picture of herself to the pastor. But Jumoke sent a message to Pastor Gideon that she is pregnant. Pastor Gideon told her to get rid of it, but she refused and assured the pastor that she would take care of the child herself. One point I want you to get in this film is that Sister Jumoke was not threatening the pastor at all she kept everything to herself but the pastor because of his honesty went ahead and confessed to his wife his wife blew the whole matter first to the children the geo of the church sent committee meeting to sack the pastor from his pastoral job the pastor's wife takes the children and pack out of the house the children also excommunicated their father refused to pick his calls. Pastor Gideon was left all alone. Even Sister Jumoke was also not contacting him anymore. Pastor Gideon decided to visit the church premises. And when he remembered the way he was always being welcomed, something happened. The next thing we saw was the dead body lying on the floor. We don't know whether he fainted or something. But from the story, they were saying he dead. My opinion, if this film was a real life story, I will say the pastor's wife is a wicked woman. She does not really love the man. Yoruba said, We women are too jealous and too selfish. What happened to for better for worse? What happened to in terms of sickness? If the pastor was a child, she would not have left him. She would be by his side, making excuses for him left and right. Advice for anyone out there. If you ever find yourself in this kind of situation, please don't condemn yourself until you off yourself. Admit that what you have done is wrong. Seek for forgiveness from God because at the end of the day, he has the final say. Then change location because of the accusers who will keep reminding you and move on with your life. If God wish, he will restore you back and gather it for you a new crowd. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more reviews.